We are doing an in the home or in the office or in wherever you want to be kettlebell workout. Kettlebell workouts are great. Here's the thing, if you don't have a kettlebell, just use a weight and that is just fine. But we're gonna go ahead and get started with posture and alignment and then start with the warm up. So make sure your navel's to the spine and I always say, are you scooping? Navel to the spine, belly in. We're gonna go ahead and tap the bell. You ready, Nick? Ready. 25 of these, let's go. Just tap the bell and come up. I want you to warm up your legs, your hips, and your glutes. Now Nick is doing a squat kettlebell routine and I'm doing a hinge forward kettlebell routine. So you do whatever is best for you. If you have any type of low back issues at all, you will definitely be squatting instead of hinging forward. Make sure those knees, if you're following me, are slightly bent. And you're inhaling as you're lowering. Three more. Exhaling as you're lifting. One more, last one, good job. Go ahead and place both hands on the bell and bring it up. It's a double grip. You want the two fingers together and the three fingers just kind of floating. You're gonna go into a deadlift position, inhale lower, and then exhale, just lift. So 25 of these deadlifts. Now when you're standing in this position, I want you to stay back in your heels, okay? Stay back in the heels, bend the knees, mouth open, and breathe. The head and the neck need to stay in good alignment with the rest of your spine. Let's work the glutes, let's work the hips, but in kettlebell, everything we do is coming from our core. Five more. Right in the middle of that body. Three to go. Two more. Last one. Good. Okay, step your feet in. You're just gonna hold the kettlebell in a goblet grip. And we're doing some reverse lunges, starting with your right leg first. Just step back, reverse lunge, and then feet together, and then opposite leg. Just 15 of these. Just to um, warm up more of the legs and to work on that balance and stability. Shoulders down. Again, you're inhaling, exhaling. I can feel the warm up already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're just warming it up. Keep it going. Hey, do you notice back there I've got a stability ball as my office chair? Good idea, huh? Last one each way. All right. Are you ready for the workout? You ready, Nick? I'm ready now. Double grip. Our first exercise is a kettlebell swing. You're gonna keep it about midway. Let's go ahead, lower down, inhale, exhale up. Now here's the thing, we're doing 30 of these swings. I want you to do what's best for you, okay? If you wanna do eight, 12, or 15 of these, that's fine with me. Just keep breathing, exhale, inhale. Again, the head in nice alignment with your spine. Elbows, just a slight bend in them. You wanna keep it going. With the kettlebell, you want it to swing. You don't wanna try and control the bell. Just let it swing. You're working strong, you're working hard. Five more. These are a lot of reps, aren't they? <laughs> Three to go. It burns. Two more. One more. Nice job. Okay, the next exercise is a clean. You're gonna take the bell in the right hand. You're gonna bring your biceps in towards you. Now, your opposite arm, I'm gonna step back a little bit, can be fully extended out, or the hand can stay on the waist. What you're gonna do, go back down. You're gonna inhale and exhale up. Let's begin. Going into our cleans, nice rotation. Again, Nick is doing the squat and I'm doing the kettlebell hinge forward. You've got to do what's best for you and your body. The amazing thing about the kettlebell, it will totally transform the way you look from head to toe, but especially those arms. 
exhale. So many studies have been done that even older people over the age of 60 should be working with the kettlebell for their strength and for their core strength. Exhale up, heart rates increasing already. It's a great exercise to keep the heart rate elevated. Five more. To work on your strength. Two more. One more. Nice. Now right in the middle of each, each exercise, we're doing a double swing. You ready, Nick? Ready. Let's go. Ten of these. Again, work from your powerhouse. Just ten. Three to go. Two more. One more. All right, switch your arms. Going in that rack position. Go ahead, let's lower down and clean. And bring it up. Good. That nice little rotation there. Again, if you don't have a kettlebell, it's no big deal. You can use a weight instead. Use that core. Exhale. <sighs> Breathing strong here. Exhaling. Inhaling. I want you to be real mindful of your low back throughout the entire workout. Just check it. Make sure it's fine. Make sure that belly is in. It's scooped. Navels to your spine. Exhaling up. Inhaling down. Staying back in your heels. Last five. Posture alignment, so important. Three to go. Two more. We're going back to the 10 double. Let's go, swing it through. 10 of these. Exhale up. Looks great. How you doing out there? You go at the pace ten. you should be going at. Two more, one more, and one. Okay, this next exercise, really wide stance here, the sumo. I'm gonna step back here, Nick. Bells in front. You're doing a double arm upright row. So you're gonna lower down sumo squat and lift up, let's go. 30 of these. I want you to keep your shoulders down even though the elbows are coming up. Mouth open, good. Connect with your upper back, connect with your shoulders, definitely connect with your core and your inner and outer thighs. We're staying back in the heels and we're breathing. Again, we're going at our level and our pace. <sighs> Looks good out there. How you doing, Nick? Good, we've got five left now. Yay, four to go. Three, two, one more. Going back to the 10 double swings right in the middle. Toes to the front, 10 of these. And breathing. Three more. Two more. And one more. Very nice. Okay. Place the bell back in your right hand. Core engaged. Opposite hand can go on your waist or on your hip or extend out. We're going into the clean and press. So what we're going to do is lower down just like we did before clean and then squat and press. Clean and press. Good. Clean and press. Again, working the shoulders. Breathing through. Very nice. Good. Progression, some people like to jump up on this one. I'm fine staying down on the floor, but if you wanna progress and like do a little jump up, you go for that, okay? Your heart rate will definitely increase on that jump. 
Feel this in your core, Nick? Oh, definitely. I mean, 70% they say your core is strengthened through a kettlebell workout. I mean, I'm seeing amazing results in my students and in my senior class too. They love it. In fact, now they ask for it. They're like, you don't have the kettlebell set out for our strength training class. I'm like, grab it. Last five. Four to go. I feel this in my calves as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> Three more. Two more. One more. Last one. Okay, double swing right in the middle. Remember those 10 swings. 10 swings. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. So important. Heart rate so elevated here. There's seven. One more. All right, switch your arms. Switch your arms. Ready for the other side. Check your core on four, three, two. Let's begin. Clean and press. Good. Clean and press. Keep your biceps next to your head. Use your core. Again, clean and press, just a very classic, so challenging exercise that we should be doing. The thing about kettlebell, once you're warmed up, your heart rate is elevated the entire time. That's the beauty of kettlebell. It keeps that heart rate elevated, and you can see why. That bell, the way it's shaped, the uniqueness of it, it just works that body harder and stronger. <sighs> Having the bell and the weight distributed away from the center of the hand makes it a challenge as you press it up and you flip it around. Inhale and exhale, working the hips, glutes, a lot of leg work here. How we doing, Nick? Good. We got about six more. I was ready to hear that. <laughs> Five to go. I was ready to say it. Yeah. Four. Three to go. Two. All right, we have one more. Then those double swings. And then we're going to take a little water break for a second. How you doing at home? Stay revved up. It's all going to be okay. Here's Keep eight. that mouth open. One more, one more. Water break. Bell down. Okay. You always need to stay hydrated. Have a towel to wipe your sweat. <laughs> always stay hydrated during your workout. In just a few sips. And then back down. We good? Good. All right, this next set, we're doing a side lunge. So your legs are wide like a sumo. You're gonna take the bell in the right hand and you're gonna start right lunge and left. But here's the thing, and I didn't tell Nick this, we're doing a figure eight. You know what I'm talking about, Nick? We'll see. Yeah, you'll catch, <laughs> he catches on real quick. We're doing a figure eight through the legs, okay? So just four more of these lunges, keep it going. Three more, two more, and we have one more, last one. Okay, figure eight, you're going to take the bell behind each leg and front. Woo! Doing great. Now here's the thing. This exercise may not be for everyone. If you've got some low back stuff going on, you would want to stand up like we were doing before we went into, right Nick? Yeah. The figure eight, because you will definitely feel the stretch through that lumbar spine area. But this is so good for the lower body. Great for the core and your breathing and you're moving. This one's actually kind of fun to do. Little kids love this one. 
inhaling. Full coordination here. Oh yeah. And exhaling. Synchronize. Kettlebell. Yeah. Five more of these. <laughs> Four to go. All right, three more. Two more. One more. Okay, we're going back to that double swing for 10. Let's go. Bring it through. Exhale up. Inhale lower. Just let the bell swing. Use your core. Let it swing, swing. Three more. Two more. One more. Last one. All right, wider stance again. Nick, just like we did, but when we bring it to the front, it's going to go up. Okay. So we're going to do a little figure eight, front raise. Figure eight, front raise. We're getting fancy now, but you can just do what's best for you at home. But this exercise works to deltoids because you're lifting it up in front of the chest. Definitely works your legs, works your core. Inhale through, exhale. Elongate the spine, okay? And keep your belly scooped. Always keep it scooped. Inhaling, exhaling. Again, figure eight with a front raise. You just do as many as you need to do. Rest when you need to. If you need to do 12 or 15, and then rest, that's fine. Here's the thing. Let's do something today. Let's keep it moving wherever we are. At home, at work, exhale. Two more each way. One more. We've got that double swing. Here we go for 10. Now after the double swing, we're gonna go way up and hesitate, almost like three or four counts, Nick, at the top. Okay. Okay. Here's six. Seven. Two more. One more. All right, we're gonna go way up. Hold one, two, three, four, swing through. Hold one, two, three, four. Great stretch for the lats. Keep the ribs pulled in. Keep the belly scooped. Let it swing. You know, sometimes you just gotta let things go. You just gotta let them swing. Exhale, inhale. And you just gotta let go of all that toxic stuff maybe that may be um, coming in your mind, negative stuff. Just let it go, just let it go today. Inhale, exhale. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Heart rate by now, we both know. It's going. Is up there. <laughs> Exhale. How are we doing on our reps? Nine to, nine to go. Woo! Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. And I'm dropping the sweat. Two more. One more. Go back to that 10 middle double swing. Right back. Right back. Good. And again, you're breathing. Mouth is open. Here's eight. One more. All right, next exercise. You're gonna start reverse lunging back with the right leg. So we're gonna step up a little bit, Nick. We need some space here. We're gonna swing with the opposite arm as you step back and then bring it front. You're gonna exchange the weight, okay? We got it? We're going. You in this too? So we've actually got 30 reverse lunges with a swing and a little bit of sweat going. It's all good. That means your heart rate's up, your body's functioning, you're well, all your parts are working really good. I think kettlebell is one of my favorite workouts. I love it. I do too. I mean, you get it all in. Your heart rate's up. You get your strength training. You get major core work in this kettlebell workout. 
Anytime you have to balance, you are working your core. And we love that. And you don't have to be real radical with it. You can modify it and still get a great workout. Again, my senior class, some people in their 80s do this very thing right here with five pounders like I've got. You can certainly lift heavier. I mean, they go all the way up to what? 80s. 80s. 80s, 90s. We don't have any 80s and 90s. <laughs> Keep it going. Two more each way. And I'm excited. One more. All right, we've got that 10 double right in the middle. Then we're gonna take a break and we will be back with more kettlebell swinging. Five more, four more, three, two, and one. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Shape Up. I'm Teresa Rowe. This is Nick Whiteside. We are ready to get back into the workout. We're going to start with our triceps. Wider stance, core engaged. Start with your swing. So you're going to swing through, come up, and then drop it back. Swing it through. And again, Nick is doing the squat positioning. I'm doing the hinging forward. You do whichever one is best for you, okay? You've got to listen to your body and figure that out. It won't take you very long to figure it out. <laughs> and you're breathing as you come up. Inhale, again, working the back of the arms, your triceps, keeping your legs strong, and you're working from your powerhouse. Always working from your powerhouse, from the center of the body. Exhaling. Inhaling, feeling this in the glutes, feeling this in the legs, in the core, and I'm feeling this triceps. Keep it moving. Looking good. Ten to go. Yay, nine. Thirty's a lot, but you can do it. If you need to shorten it though, though that's fine. Twelve or fifteen reps is just fine. Again, we're staying focused. Last we're two. We're working strong. One more. Last one. All right, 10 double swings right in the middle to transition to our biceps. Almost there. Here's eight. One more. Okay, we're ready for these biceps. So I want you to hold the thumb in the right hand, set back with your left. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna swing the bell back and then bring it up. It's sort of like a hammer curl yeah. called the gunslinger. This is one of my favorite exercises, Nick, when we're talking kettlebell. You can also keep your hands on your waist or extend that other arm out from you. You can definitely lunge and progress this if you want to. Or three more. During this workout, we're just holding one more. Last one. Double swing right in the middle. Ten more. Stay strong. You're almost there. Again, working the hips, the glutes, the legs, definitely the arms and Eight. the core. One more. Last one. Switch your arms. Step back with your right leg, gunslinger on your left arm. Swing back and bring it up. Exhale as you do that. Keep it close to your body. Shoulders down. You want to keep the shoulders in the sockets, okay? Keep them in the sockets. Work from your powerhouse. Work in those biceps. Try not to grip too tightly because it will cut off that circulation there in the hands. There's 13. Last one. All righty, 10 double right in the middle. Let's go. Then we will transition to a wood chop. I love the wood chop. It's amazing. Works the waist. Here's eight. One more. 
and one. Okay, I want you to hold the bell bottom up to start. You're gonna go into a squat position, bring the bell down towards your right ankle, and then come up and swing. I hope I don't get you in the head, Nick. Here we go, 15 of these. Wood chop. This is an amazing exercise. Works the waist, works the upper body, works the core. Breathe through it. Nice rotation through that hip. It's 12. Two to go. One more. 10 in the middle, double swing it. Again, you're breathing, you're moving. Your workout is almost over. You've done so well today. Three more. Two to go. One more. Okay. Opposite side. Ready? Inhale lower. Chop. Chop across. And chop. Exhaling as you do that. I can see the sweat swinging with the bell. Again, I love this workout. It's a total body workout. It works every single muscle in go. our bodies. One more. Ten right in the middle to end it. You did great today. Thank you for working out with us. Did you have a good time, Nick? I had a great time. I did too. <laughs> There's eight. One more. And one. Thank you for joining us. I'm Teresa Rowe. This is Nick Whiteside. Have a blessed day. Bye.